Hey everyone, this is Glea Bakhmatov. Let's say you have two lists on the page and you want to confirm that the items in the first list and you don't know the items, but the text should be the same as the text in the second list. We can get the items from the first list, we get all the ally elements and we can map them to inner text. And I'm using my Cypress map plugin that has very triable query SciMap. So now we have an array of strings, we can pass it to a callback function using then, And now we can get the second list, map to inner text. And now we get a list of strings that should be equal to the first list, right? So we can write an assertion, should deep equal, because we want to compare not array references, but the content list. Perfect. That's easy. Now let's move to the second example where the lists are the same, but the order could be different. So we can grab the same code, paste it right here. And right now it doesn't work because yes, it's the same strings, but the order is different. So we cannot use deep equal, but we can have an assertion sh should have all members. So this compares the members of an array rather than the order too. So if for example, one is different, it fails, but if it's the same, doesn't matter the order, it passes. Okay, what about the case when the list is a subset of another list? So in this case, the long list is the first one with four items, and the second one has grapes and melons, a subset of the first one. Again, the order could be different. But now instead of have all members, we can say include all members. But now the problem is which list is first because we want to take uh, the shorter list and say when the longer one should include those. So we have to switch places right here. So we're getting the second list, the short one. And then we're saying that the first one, the long list, should include all members of a shorter list. And it all works if the lists are static, okay? But if both lists are dynamic and you cannot make an assertion to wait for the lists to load before you compare them, then we have a problem. Okay, so let me move right here and grab the same solution as the first one. And now let's look at this. So we have a couple items initially in each list, but then the list change both of them, right? And we set the same contents after one and two seconds. Okay, so I already have it pasted. Notice that something is wrong. It says expected an array of four items to equal an array of two items with apples and oranges. And apple and oranges are string items in the first list. The problem is right here. So SciGet and SciMap are queries they retry. But SciThen, as soon as you get the list of initial two items, stops retrying. So now we're retrying the second list until it's equal to apples and oranges. The first list never retries. So we need to do something else. Okay, so here's one possible solution. We're going to get the items from both lists. First, second. Actually, no, 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 let's get both lists, okay? Not the items yet. And then we'll write a should callback function. So it gets a jQuery object and, you know, the first and second um, lists, the parent ally, not ally, but the parent elements are there. So we can deconstruct this, okay? And we can get first list by taking the first and now it's a dumb element and we can query selector all a lot. Okay. And in this case, we want to map those items, which are dumb elements to an uh, inner text. So let me do it right here in the console because anytime I'm not sure how to do something, I'll try it in a console. So let me go to my parent list element. Okay, right here. So let's say we get the first DOM element. 
and right here we can say okay so we have the parent we can query selector all li and we get a node list and you would think we could grab each element and map it to its inner text but we can't because node list doesn't have map method so instead what we can do we can deconstruct it into an array and now we can grab it okay so this is how we can take a parent element find all li elements and map each dumb element to its inner text and we can do the same with the second list okay one second so the second and it all happens inside should call back and so we can use an assertion to say expect the first list to deep equal second list and so what happens here well sci get returns list we grab the context the assertion fails it goes back to sci get gets a new copy of a list and so on and so on until the list are really uh, are updated completely and the inner text is the same and we can simplify this index a little bit because cypress bundles low dash library so instead of kind of destructuring an array we can simply use cypress low dash map and we can pass the node list and we can say i want to map this node list to inner text property from each item and it works exactly the same way so let's do a second one in text and boom it works and compares the two list and retries so we're using a custom should callback okay so these were examples of comparing two lists of items in different situations you can find this example and lots more recipes at my cypress example site